Are you someone who is looking to get placed in a top product based company in one of your dream locations outside India? Then this video is definitely for you. Hey guys, this is Riddhi Datta and welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 product based companies that are hiring across the globe and they are hiring Indian candidates and also sponsoring their visas as well. We are going to talk about the benefits. We are also going to talk about the pay range. We are also going to talk about the interview process, uh, the work culture, work life balance and a host of other things. So do stick with me till the end of this video also this 10 companies are the list that i have curated based on my research obviously there exist some other good companies as well so if you want a part two of the video maybe i would make it for you guys so, so do go and write it down in comments if you want a part two of this video but for now let's continue with this video and get started so the 10th company in the list is facebook or what we now know as meta so facebook of late has been hiring a lot of candidates from india especially for the london location as well as the dublin office uh, however, having said that, right now there is a hiring freeze going on in Facebook, but I'm very hopeful that they would resume hiring from India pretty soon. Talking about the interview process, they primarily ask a lot of questions directly from lead code and the questions mostly are medium or medium hard level. Also, you have to go through an HLD round and the overall interview process, I would say, is on a medium to medium hard level. Talking about the benefits, uh, obviously, Facebook, like other top tech companies, offers a host of benefits like they give you free food from breakfast, lunch, snacks and dinner. Also, they give you 25 paid holidays. They also give you a brand new iPhone. They also give you gym reimbursements. Uh, they also pay you for your on calls, which companies like Amazon doesn't generally do. And they also provide a host of other benefits. So the pay for Facebook is very much on the higher side. They're one of those companies which is giving you top compensation. Uh, generally for an E4, you can expect a compensation of around 100k pounds to 120k pounds in hand, which is very, very high. However, having said that, the work culture and work life balance at Facebook is not that great according to the employees. There's a lot of competition, a cutthroat competition among the employees. And as a result, the environment, the working environment can get Get stressful at times. So the ninth company in the list that is hiring outside India and is also sponsoring visa for Indians is Microsoft. So let's first take a look at their locations in which they're hiring Indians. So they're hiring right now in Dublin, Prague, uh, that is in Czech Republic, uh, Barcelona, Spain, Amsterdam, Netherlands. You can directly go to their career page and apply or you can take a referral and I'm very sure if your profile is good, you would get a call. So typically talking about the interview process, it is fairly on the medium side. You have to go through five rounds. The first round would be a codility uh, test that you have to go through, which is basically an online coding platform like HackerRank. One tip I want to give about codility is, please note that in a codility platform, you won't be able to see whether a code runs correctly against your private test cases where your marks will depend upon. Uh, after you clear the codility test, uh, you have to go through four more interview rounds. The first round would be a DS or a problem solving round. The second round would be an LLD round. The third round would be an HLD round. And the fourth round would be a cultural fit round. After all the interviews are done, then your levels would be decided. And by the way, if you want to know about the levels, you can check out my Microsoft data science, uh, data scientist video uh, because the software engineer levels and the data scientist role levels are pretty much the same and accordingly your compensation will depend upon that. I will attach the link to the video in the description down below. Work culture and work life balance at Microsoft is very very good. It's one of the highly rated companies when it comes to employee satisfaction uh, and you get a lot of benefits like gym reimbursement, stock purchase planned. Also you get a lot of gifts from Microsoft and it's a very very family-like culture at Microsoft. People love working over there. Tech stack and Microsoft is primarily C-sharp in the backend. And however, the pay for Microsoft is not as competitive as Amazon, Facebook, or Uber. So I would say, especially for the mid-level roles like L16, L61 is not that competitive. But still having said that, because of its work culture, it's still one of the great companies to work for. Now let's look at the eighth company in the list that is ByteDance, or you might relate it with TikTok. So TikTok has a lot of Indian candidates primarily for the Singapore location. Interview process, I would say, is on a medium to hard level and you expect coding questions as well as computer science fundamentals for if you are a fresher and if you are uh, applying for senior levels, then also you expect to go through design rounds as well. Compensation, I would say, is pretty decent and the salary at Singapore can go above 100k SGD for freshers. From the tech stack perspective, uh, the backend side is mostly Go and Python and in the front end, it is mostly React. But the work-life balance at TikTok is very, very bad. They usually call it a 995 or 996 culture. So basically, it means that you have to work 9 to 9 for 5 or 6 days a week. And also, one more problem is that a lot of internal documentation are written in Chinese language, which means basically you need to know the Chinese language a little bit, you know, to get along and progress in your career in that particular company. Okay, so 
the seventh company in the list is Goldman Sachs. So Goldman Sachs is an American multinational investment bank and financial services company and is listed in New York Stock Exchange. Goldman Sachs also hires Indian candidates primarily for the London and Warsaw locations. I know a couple of people, uh, freshers rather, who has got placed in uh, Goldman Sachs Warsaw location. You can go and check out my video with Sunil. He recently got placed in Goldman Sachs Warsaw and you can go through his journey. I would attach the link in the description down below and he is a 2022 grad. So the levels of Goldman Sachs is a little bit different like for SD1 it they call it associate and for analyst they call it SD2 which requires around 3 plus years of experience. So the tech stack for Goldman Sachs is primarily Java and hence you would expect a lot of questions from Java and oops in the interviews. You would also get asked DSA medium level questions with a lot of emphasis on projects, design patterns and HLD if you are applying for an analyst position. You also have to go through 5 to 6 rounds of interview process. So the work life balance and work culture is not really great at Goldman Sachs according to its employees. Also since it's a financial company take will definitely take a backseat. Pay at Goldman Sachs is kind of decent however it is not as high as the Fangem companies out there. Okay company 6 is Shopee. So Shopee is basically the Amazon or Flipkart of Singapore. It recently got listed in the Singapore stock exchange and is hiring a lot of candidates from India as well as Bangladesh location. I've seen a lot of Indians and Bangladeshis working for Shopee. Now from an interview perspective they would ask a, a lot of questions from DSA which would be medium to medium hard level and they also end up asking a lot of questions from CS fundamentals as well as they also ask HLD sometimes to freshers as well. Since it's a relatively new company, there are a lot of projects that are ongoing and hence there would be a good learning curve. However, the work-life balance might not that be great at Shopee. Tech stack is primarily Go, Python, Django and these things. Salary at Shopee is also pretty decent uh, compared to the Singapore location. Okay, so the fifth company in the list is one of my favorites and that is Bloomberg. So Bloomberg LP is a privately held financial software data and media company headquartered in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. Uh, its owner is Mike Bloomberg, who is well known in the community for his philanthropic activities. Bloomberg is primarily hiring for the London location uh, from India and they also sponsor visas as well. Also, they hired fresh grads directly from India. Their main product is Bloomberg Terminal, which is like used by most of the financial companies out there. From an interview perspective, the I would say the overall interview process is on the medium level. You can expect lead code medium style DSA questions. And if you are uh, applying for senior software engineer roles, you also have to go through one round of HLD as well along with DSA. You have to to go through four to five rounds of interviews and the work culture and work-life balance at Bloomberg is top-notch and one of the best in the London location. It also provides a pretty good compensation and the range can vary between 90k to 120k uh, pounds uh, for a senior software engineer role. So the fourth company in the list is Glovo. I'm very sure you haven't heard the name. So let me give you a brief introduction about it and let me tell you that they are hiring a lot of Indian candidates right now and they're also sponsoring visas for them. So Glovo is a Spanish quick commerce startup company founded in Barcelona in 2015. Its parent company is Delivery Hero which also hires international candidates in Germany but right now Glovo is hiring for their Barcelona location that is in Spain. So the interview process is very much similar to Microsoft. Uh, you have to go through one round of Codility test then there would be a couple of more rounds on DSA, HLD, LLD and a cultural fit round. Pay is pretty decent however not as great as Facebook or Amazon or Uber. Uh, you can expect around 70k to 80k euros in hand uh, for level 2 roles. So the work culture and work-life balance in Glovo is also pretty decent according to their employees. By the way, if you're if you're liking my content and liking this video, don't forget to smash the like button to make YouTube ever happy. And also don't forget to watch my other videos where I've reviewed various companies like Oracle, OCI, Atlassian, right? Uh, and Apple. And I would attach the link to it in the description down below. And also let me know that which of these companies that I've mentioned in this video you want me to make a detailed review on. And I would be more than happy to make a video on it. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to personally connect with me and you know have any doubts i would be more than happy to resolve that also don't forget to join my telegram group where i post hiring updates whenever these companies are hiring so the third company in the list is google Ab google ke baare mein kya hi batau? Sabko pata hai. it's one of the dream companies out there for everyone or every tech is out there when they're starting off their software engineering career or they're taking admission in uh, college so google has a lot of indian as well as pakistani and bangladeshi candidates uh, just in case they're also watching my video and they hire for offices in europe taiwan Singapore. Their offices are primarily in Zurich, Warsaw, Munich and London for which they hired these international candidates and sponsors visas. Out of this, Google Swedish offers the highest salary and the best work across the European location and Google Warsaw offers the least compensation in the Europe location. Now I'm not going to talk about the interview process of Google in this video because I've already made a detailed video on it and I will attach the link to that video in the description down below so do go and check out that video as well. And coming to the tech stack, work-life balance, work culture, pay, everything is really great at Google. 
so nothing much to talk about it really so the second company in the list is booking.com and i'm very sure you must have already used booking.com if you love traveling like me uh, especially they are used for hotel bookings and by the way talking about traveling if you are interested to see my travel videos and reels you can go and check out and follow me on instagram where i post a lot of travel content anyway coming back to this video so booking.com hires a lot of indian candidates and they have been hiring for quite long uh, and they're hiring for amsterdam and recently for london locations talking about the interview process you have to go through one round of hacker rank test which will consist of three interview questions one easy one medium and one hard post that uh, the recruiter would reach out to you for a 30 minute call to understand your current situation whether you're willing to relocate or not and then it they will schedule three rounds of interviews the first round would be a dsl round where questions would mostly be around medium to medium hard level so the next round would be an hld round if you're applying for senior engineer role and then a cultural fit round where they will also check your commercial awareness as well booking.com boasts of a great work culture and work life balance and also the cost of living in amsterdam where the majorly hire is pretty less as compared to other european cities from a compensation perspective booking.com is on the higher side and you can expect a base salary of 80000 to 90000 euros it is also a listed company so would get stocks bonus and in and compensation would easily go above 100000 euros they also give you full relocation assistance and also they give you five extra days of leave after you relocated to amsterdam so the first company in the list is amazon amazon is hiring a lot of indian candidates as well as pakistani and bangladeshi candidates majorly in london luxembourg dublin berlin madrid locations from an interview perspective you have to go through four to five rounds of interviews for both sd1 and sd2 roles for sd1 you have to, we would be getting asked mostly lead code style dsm medium questions sometimes hard questions might be asked and if you are applying for an sd2 role you also have to go through hld and ld rounds compensation wise amazon right now is one of the highest companies out there so for a new grad the compensation can be around 70000 euros plus bonus plus stock which is like almost equivalent to globo's level 2 salary work culture and work life balance is pretty team dependent some of the teams have really good culture while some of the teams doesn't have a good culture specifically for my experience i would say the on call is pretty bad at amazon where the work life balance might take a hit but the teams which have good and supportive managers and also the product is not yet launched and hence there is no on call support the work life balance over there is really great for the work perspective from most of the amazon teams boast of really good work and the tech stack can be java python uh, mostly react in the front end sometimes angular and since it's amazon the cloud side is definitely aws also if you want me to make a detailed video on amazon to comment down below and also if you want me to share my experience at amazon as a software engineer do comment it down below and, and i would be more than happy to do that also don't forget to follow me on instagram join my telegram group and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment down below what is the next video you want me to make a research on and present it to you guys in such a concise format having said that i would take a leave over here i would wish you all the best for your job hunt and we will meet you in the next video